Hello and welcome back to the Single Malt Review. We're back. Scotia's back. I was about to say, if I look distracted, it's because there's an enormous dog in this room. So um, this is kind of the first time we've, uh, we're have we kicking the tyres on filming with the enormous dog. So <laughs> apologies if things go a bit interesting. But hello, we're back. We're back. We've had a bit of a hiatus. It's been a bit of a weird year, but the casket has creaked open. We're here. Mm -hmm. We're back. We're going to get straight into it with the whiskies that you, that you want and need and love. And so do we. Right, Dave, what have you been doing in the interim? Let's do a whiskey, whiskey check-in. How's, how's the, the whiskey life been hmm. on the Dave end? A bit quiet, sadly. I've been tied up with all sorts and not been indulging in many new drams. Mm. Well, we're going to fix that this afternoon mm. with, and you will have seen it coming, and we've gone, oh, Grants. <laughs> what are they? They're bringing themselves back with Grants. Mm. And we are bringing ourselves back with Grants, but it's not just Grants. No. It's not just, it's not just blended whiskey. Um... This is one of the most shocking things I think I've seen in a hell of a long time. Um, I'll get Dave to give you the, the close-up here. This is this is Grant's, but boy howdy, not as we know it. This is possibly one of the biggest surprises I've ever discovered in the the great and sprawling world of whiskey. Mm. Um, it's Grant's Distillery Edition. Yeah, I suppose this is. I'm going to have the same background for the next. Um, few videos here but um economic scenarios have changed um in this country um principally involving interest rates and that has knocked on pretty hard to anyone who's got a mortgage which is anybody um most people anyway it's great we, we really celebrate the mortgage over here in new zealand but for better or worse um but long story short i'm really just kicked in the dick with regards to payments on my house, which has really, really affected the whiskey budget. So I've been a bit more value mm. conscious this year, and so I've been doing a lot of sort by cheapest, and um, that's produced some interesting scenarios, some good, and some extremely bad. This is not the bad one. We're going to start mm -hmm. with the good news before oh, yeah. we go to the before we go to the bad news. And this was profoundly good news. This is Grant's Distillery Edition. It is a travel retail exclusive, which is a bit of a pain, but I surely didn't buy this at Duty Free, so plenty have leaked out um, yeah. and are out there. It is, and hold on to your hats here, 46.3% ABV and unchill filtered. Mm. Slightly higher than normal proof. Wild. And also unchill filtered. It's nice to see on a blend. It's slightly higher than a great many mm. hallowed single malts these days. Yeah. Um, so that was that's shocking enough. Um, far more shocking is just how goddamn good this whiskey is. Um, this was a revelation to me in terms of whiskey in the, the budget category. Line it up properly there. Um, this is this is something else. But um, I, I don't take any more convincing. I've, as you can see, I've done plenty of research on this bottle. I want to get your take on this. Sure. Am, am I alone here in thinking this is bananas good mm. um, for a no-age statement blend at the price point that you expect from a no-age statement blend? Crazy, crazy. Yeah. So yeah, I need to know: am I am I insane, or <laughs> is this is this real? Well, we tried the um, regular standard issue Grants blend about a year ago, and you rated it higher than I did, but I was by no means hard on it. I still you know, give it a decent score. Yeah, and I think was I to try that one again, that might take a bit of a tumble because mm -hmm. um, I found a really distressing trend in just the last year or two, um, some just in this year of very, very, very famous old school blends, just crashing through the floor in right. terms of quality really 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 losing anything that made them worthwhile and i'm sad to say grants is pretty close to being on that list the quality oh, has just dropped not to put grants on a particular you know on the, not to turn the firing squad on grants alone it's almost all of them have been offending in this category it's maybe that the shrink fill the shrinkflation of um, budget whiskey and that the prices haven't really shifted and they've they've cut corners on maybe the maturity but anyway that's another story thankfully that's not the story here no Let's it's dive a, in. Mm, a good nose of treacle and butterscotch sweet puddings less of the uh, grain alcohol acetone kind of a burn yeah you might it's get a, from a blend. really multi nose there's mm. there's bananas and stewed yeah. fruit in here it's lovely space side stuff as it should be because anyone that doesn't know the long and short of grants they are that's the blended whiskey arm of the mighty clenfiddich um, so you can pretty much um, guess with with a degree of confidence as to what is in here propping up the malt content, and that is Glenfiddich itself. So um, heaps of yeah, heaps of malt flavour coming off. Oh, mm. it's oily, sweet, luscious. A little bit of fire to a little bit of a 
kick in the tail. It's got a kick for mm. sure, yeah. This is not old wow. whiskey, yeah. um, though it tastes a hell of a lot older mm. than um, typical Grant. And there's the grain. There's not much of it, but it's um, it's present at least. Yeah, but it has this mm. and it has this long tail on it. it has this nice round finish. Yeah. It's got this tremendous oiliness from the unchill filtered. And as far as I know, you do not get that particularly from unchill filtered grain whiskey. Not mm. that I think I've ever tried unchill filtered grain whiskey. We probably have in a in a funny independent bottle at some point. But that real smooth, <sighs> just sort of yeah, buttery oiliness is just not something I think you get off unchill filtered grain. So that that just doubles down on my belief that there is stacks of malt in here. Mm. Mind that stick, brother. Yeah, we're we definitely we're living on the on the dog edge here. So <laughs> you thought cats on the table were bad, you wouldn't. Mm. It's not even scientifically possible. Anyway, anyway. Um, so yeah, and this one, believe it or not, can take plenty of water as well. Mm. Even have the Grant's jug to go oh, with. Yes, And I think that's even better. Mm. Yeah, it's got lemon, lime, custard. It's got all that fresh mm. and fruity Speyside goodness. And though the grain is present, I think there's, if anything, this tastes more malt dominant than it does grain dominant, which is just not what you get in blended whiskies ever. Um, I tried one recently that was a 50-50. It was Black Bull, which is mm. pretty well respected. Um, they do big, often unsure fills at 50% grain whiskies and it was a big you know it had a big kick to it but it was still uh, it was still blended whiskey this is so much more this is crazy what they've done here um they're just almost giving this one away mm. it's a beautiful summer home whiskey yeah it goes great with ice um i found just topping this up with a little bit of say colilo or something like this gives you a completely different it makes a, an awesome base malt for doing diy blends um, it's just, yeah, one of the one of the biggest surprises, the happiest surprises mm -hmm. I think I've stumbled on, just forever, just an incredible. I'm gonna yeah. have to. This is the only whiskey I think in my life I've considered actually stockpiling, right. actually going back and getting a big old hell of this one and putting it under the house or whatever, um, because it's surely not something that can happen for long. It was like when the Jameson's Bold came away and they mm. were basically just giving away Redbreast. Um, and, and, and indeed, that did not last. Those were, bottles were twice, twice the price the very next year. Um, so yeah, I may have, to, may have to jump on this one, maybe before, mm. I, maybe before this one uploads. I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, do you, final thoughts on this one, what do, you, what do you think? It's outstanding. It is everything I could want from a blended whiskey in complexity and accessibility. Mm. It's just, it tastes really good. Um, if you like blends, if you like, you know, affordable whiskey if you like something more expensive or refined it is really an all-rounder and for me it's an easy 84 points yep um 85 for me mm. uh and that's that's getting up into 12 year old blend territory 16 year old blend mm. territory um i think we've, we've probably reviewed serious aged blends and given them way less than that yep. because you just don't get you don't get that oomph um this is in one of the cases of getting more for less this is profound. It's really, really, really mm -hmm. good. Um, and yeah, a real, a real good positive for us to come come do the rebound on here. Yes. Um, so now we've got a large dog and a very small cat in the room. So what could possibly go wrong? Mm -hmm. So we'll um, tie this one off here and we'll be right back with something else. Um, I won't I won't give any hints yet because I'm not sure what we're doing next. It could be, it could be the other side of my value buying coin or it might be something a bit mm -hmm. nicer. I think we might save the... Um, we might save the booby prize for last, but we will see. We will see. All right, Slanger, welcome back. Us. <laughs>